Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey. If you're new, today's video is going to be kind of exciting. Um, this is going to be a massive haul, and when I say massive, I mean massive. Huge, humongous, huge. Disclaimer before we start, this was around about, I don't know, seven, eight hundred pounds worth of stuff, and it is for my salon. I, if you haven't seen it already, I'll maybe pop it up in a card up in this top corner here. I lost my entire salon about three weeks before Christmas and obviously I need to restock. I did get a new premises and I am in the middle of kind of fixing it all up just now. I am making videos sort of on the process but I need to restock it all and I obviously have money from insurance and stuff like that to do it so I don't normally spend like this on a regular basis. We'll just put that out there. Okay so yeah this is anyway. If you enjoy this video if you want to see more videos like this because I will have lots more to get. If you like kind of videos like this and you like seeing sort of different nail collections and things like that, even if you're not a professional, if you just like to see what new things might come into my salon or might come into other people's salons from different brands that you like, then obviously thumbs this video up and I will do that for you because I like to do like the light elegance collections and things like that so you can see the actual swatches and what they look like. I know loads of people do them but you know. Okay, this is from Sweet Squared, and if you don't know, Sweet Squared is a massive um, nail hair beauty supplier in the UK, and they are one. Of, they are the only supplier, I think, for Light Elegance, and now the only supplier for CND as well. So I pretty much get my fake tan from them. I get my Light Elegance stuff from them, my CND stuff from them, and my waxing stuff from them. So I pretty much get almost everything from them now, and it's just easier. Postage is cheaper and you can get everything from the same place. There are other things that I get from other places, like I use a different tint and stuff like that, but for the most part, I get most of my stuff from Sweet Squared. So I have two giant boxes, well, one medium-sized box, one giant box, and I'm just gonna pull things out and show you what I got. It's not gonna be massively interesting or anything like that. A lot of it is essentials that I need, um, but if you want to know prices and things like that, I'll list them down in the description box below. I will list Sweet Square's website just in case you are a professional and you don't currently use them. You do have to register with them and prove the, with your credentials that you are qualified and stuff like that. But they're a really, really good company to train with, to deal with, to buy from, everything like that. So, so like I said, I have all my waxing stuff through them and it's normally, it's normally, it is now wax one that I use. I used to use wax spurts but I found that the wax started going like crystallising in the pot and it was driving me nuts and when you were putting it on people it was all lumpy bumpy and it was disgusting. So I actually spoke to them because they were my supplier for wax spurts and then they developed their own brand and that's why I swapped to wax one. So this is their strip wax and it is pearlescent. I'll maybe put in a little clip of what it looks like when it's warmed up. Um, it's like a sort of pearlescent wax and it goes on super super thin like it is absolutely amazing though it really isn't as painful as other waxes and you don't go through that much because it's super 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 thin the other thing as well is their hot wax and this is in little sort of like pearls this is obviously hot wax so it's really 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 good for intimate areas and things like that it's got super 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 cool temperature working temperature so it is really 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 delicate on the skin so if you're looking for a good hot hot wax wax brand in general then I would definitely recommend wax one the girls are really really good as well they designed it so they really know their stuff and you can get in touch with them and they train you on it so I got their clean which is just the pre-oil and pre-oil pre-wax stuff so this has got tea tree in it so it makes sure that you're all sanitized and everything like that it's really really gentle on the skin I do have smooth as well which is their uh, pre-oil post oil I have sticky feet but these are cardboard I never really liked sticky feet because I just think it's really wasteful it's like a little sort of it's like foam and I don't know how recyclable foam is I don't really think it's recyclable at all but I've discovered that you can actually get cardboard ones so I decided to get some cardboard clean feet uh, it's just tanning essential and because obviously I lost it all in my last salon I have a Lasha's vinyl window sticker window cling whatever they're called a CND shellac one a wax one one and a Moroccan tan one I do have I do have another one somewhere, I think it might be light elegant. So I wanted to swap, swap out, I was using like an 
a very generic brand from um, Salon Services and I wanted to swap out my manicure stuff so I decided to go with the Q and Lou stuff and then I was like all oh what am I going to do for like pedicures because I bought this absolutely amazingly beautiful big pedicure chair you will see it in the vlogs when I'm doing up the salon. I stopped doing pedicures because it was really hard on my back because the setup I had just really wasn't great so this is going to make a massive massive difference. My salon was quite small and it was not great for having like an extra station so having this extra station is going to make the world a difference so i thought i'll get the q and loose stuff and i can use it for pedicures and manicures and then i'll get stuff dedicated for pedicures as well like heel treatments and stuff like that so what i got was the q and loose bamboo polish and i got the q and loose lotion so this is the big bottle because i thought if i'm going to be doing both what i'll probably do is i'll probably get little um decorative sort of pump bottles you know like you get for your uh, bathroom and stuff like that and i will decant that into those because I just think they look nicer especially if it's going to be out at my pedicure station as well I want it to look really nice but this is the spa oil because I obviously do massages along with my pedicures or manicures I like that they do this this isn't in it so it's sealed up tight so it doesn't leak um but that's just obviously you don't need a lot of oil so that'll last me a good amount of time I'll probably get a bigger one eventually but we'll start off with that and just see how we go to go with that as well i got this i didn't realize how big this is it's, look at the size of my head okay so this is the q and loose salt soak um so this is going to be for manicures and pedicures i think it'll be really good for pedicures because it's um if you've got a bubbly pedicure i know i don't know what it's like like in america and stuff like that i am looking at maybe getting a pedicure bowl stand so i can just get a bog standard pedicure bowl and stick it on top and it's the stand that does all the things i think that's quite popular in america um but generally our bubble like we don't unless you've got a station uh, my station doesn't have a football in it if you know what i mean if you've got a big fancy station that's got a football in it sometimes they have jets in it so if you put foam in the bubbly ones it foams up the people's legs to their knees it's hilarious they think it's funny when you're like scooping it out i normally just spray a, a kind of freshener spray on it and it bursts all the bubbles but I think this is going to be really good because it's more of a salt soak so it's it's fine and it'll sort of like fizz but it won't bubble which will be really good but you do need something in the football just to sort of help soften everything up and like I said with the pedicure stuff I got the CND spa cucumber heel therapy because none of that is specific for like treatments for the feet there is a callus remover as well but I'm going to try this first um but this is obviously to help really really battered heels and soles of the feet and stuff like that so I think that this will be a really good little little sort of extra for when people are getting a pedicure the other thing I got was I got Moroccan Tan Accelerated Lotion. I did have a full bottle of this almost right before lockdown which is gutting because I'd used it a couple of times and although fake tans aren't my biggest seller, um, I live in Scotland and obviously you a lot of people get a fake tan for like going on holiday or going to a wedding or something like that and then as soon as lockdowns and that hit this liquid just doesn't last. If I had managed to not open it before locked in I think it would have been fine but I, I literally nearly lost a whole bottle of this I think it was probably about to here so I had to get obviously get a replacement and this isn't cheap but it's really really nice so the accelerated one is the one that I like you can literally wait it for like half an hour yeah 30 minutes up to four hours um so i really 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 like it it's good for on the go so these are absolute musts if you're going to provide cnd services you need scrub fresh i would say you need scrub fresh in your life anyway it's a combination of isopropyl alcohol and acetone and other things as well and disperse is basically their version of ipa so obviously i have the big jars so the big jars the big bottles of these and then i'll just decant them into my little pump bottles at the beginning of every day so that was mostly my essential stuff the more kind of fun stuff is more so in this box this base coat is the wear extender i literally just use this on everybody because it works on everybody and it really does work on everybody it's really good um i, I don't really find much of a difference with removal because i always take a little bit longer in removal anyway because my um salon was normally a little bit on the colder side uh, so cuticle eraser i love cuticle eraser i use it on myself almost every single day i had to get myself a new pair of wax one tweezers i got these i didn't even have them that long before the accident happened at the salon so i love these i would actually get like a pair for myself at home <laughs> So I got a little storage box. I have actually decanted some of this because this came in a lot more boxes than two boxes. So 
another little storage box. This is a new one, so I now have two little ones and two big ones. I had to get myself some lashes. Uh, I I had most of my volume lash stuff at home because I was in the middle of doing a course, <laughs> which is handy. So uh, these are two that I actually didn't have in my kit. So I got them as add-ons. I got myself a Light Elegance um, gel polish brush. Uh, I got just a packet of files. I actually thought that I had taken this out by accident because I was going to get like a massive big order of files all at once because you always need files, but these are just a sort of cheaper version of the blizzard board and I wanted to test them out. I had to get myself some shield adhesive for lash lifts. Okay, so this has exploded and I'm going to have to actually get in touch with Sweet Squared. They normally are pretty decent, uh, but I'll have to get in touch with them about, seeing, get, about getting this replaced. It is the flat matte light elegance top coat. <laughs> Uh, the other cool thing, let's just hope that these are all okay, is the Jimmy Gels. I, I don't have all my nails at the minute, but I use Jimmy Gel on my nails daily because I like, well not daily, because it doesn't need to be done daily, but I have it on my nails every day with a, normally a light elegance gel colour on top because it's just a really good overlay and I've been growing my nails out with lockdown and everything like that. I've not really been in amongst uh, chemicals and things like that because I hadn't been at work. So I just literally did an overlay and let my nails grow. And I was finding that it was helping them sort of, with helping them grow and leaving them alone, it was sort of helping them get to like a nice shape and stuff like that. So Jimmy Gel, Jimmy Gel, Light Elegance have brought out all of the colours in Jimmy Gel because we love it so much. So you get a free Jimmy Gel. So we have the Soft Pink Jimmy Gel, the Ideal Pink, uh, Boomer White, and Natural. I'm not going to open them because obviously these all have to be packed away to go to the salon with me so I don't want to open what I don't need to because they're obviously safest in their packaging. So this is the big storage box. I really like this. You can actually stand up your polishes in it if you want. Um, so where the little boxes are really good for the likes of like your butter creams and your colour gels. This is really good for polishes. So if you've got the P Plus system or if you've got shellac or that, that'll go really well in here. And it is a really decent size as well. So I got myself a big tub of what's what step <laughs> I got myself a big tub of one step this is a 50 ml one it's just clear one step it's my favorite gel I absolutely love it it's a wee bit colder here so it actually acts a little bit more like the kind of higher viscosity gels got myself some solar oil because you cannot not have solar oil I've managed to I wanted to grab a few more shellac colours and there was two that I knew that I wanted and then there was another two just that caught my eye so I've got wisteria haze shellac and clay canyon those are the two that i know are quite popular and then i saw aqua intense and company red because obviously you need some reds and i just really like blues <laughs> so i got those and then i thought because i'm going to be doing hopefully more pedicures and stuff like that i really wanted like normal polish because i don't do a lot of normal manicures with normal polish so i just kind of got rid of them but it seems a bit of a waste not to get normal polish for toes. So I got lots and lots of Vinylux. <laughs> okay, so I've just opened up all the boxes so that I can tell you what colours that I got. And here we go. So I have Vagabond and Soft Peony. I just looked at the collections and sort of thought, right, which ones will um, give me the most variety of colours and these are the ones that I ended up choosing. So this one is Uninhibited and Offbeat. Uninhibited is like sort of salmon pink almost and this one is just a really nice sort of muted vibrant pink I would say. This one is down by the bay and this one is carnation bliss so two nice purples this is obviously a nice lilac-y purple. Uh, Gypsy and uncovered. Uncovered is a really nice nude it's part of the nude collection and Gypsy I love this orange shade I have it in my shellac or I had it in my shellac. This is taffy and jellied two colours that I really like for sort of summery time. It's Now or Never and Lady Lily. Lady Lily's almost, or is it just white? It might actually just be white. Uh, and obviously with a nice purple as well. Nice for Easter time. We have Hot or Not and Catch of the Day. Catch of the Day looks really sort of more pink in 
Vinylux. These are weekly polishes as well, so it's um, seven days wear with the top coat. Flower Bed Folly and Unlocked. Unlocked is like a sort of greyish and Flower Bed Folly is just the most beautiful nude. It was one that I wore in shellac all the time. We have Kiss From A Rose and Kiss The Skipper. Kiss The Skipper is a really, really, really vibrant pink and this one is just sort of really nice. It actually, they pair really nice together. Then we have Unmasked and Get Naughty or Cool. Magical topi Topiary? I have no idea what that says. Call me stupid. Unearthed. And then we have Gummy and Candied. Candied is one of my by far most popular pink colour in shellac. And I love Gummy. Gummy is becoming a very, very, very popular Easter colour. Like people just seem to want pastel colours for Easter. Without the box on I'll be able to fit so much more in so as I build on the collection I can add more but just being able to pull this out when somebody has a pedicure or manicure is so much easier. That is it. Although it gave me mad anxiety I thoroughly enjoyed buying nice new things for the salon. Yeah I mean it's obviously it's just a long road to go we've got so much to do in the salon. I've bought obviously lots of other stuff but I just haven't hauled it. I just thought that this was fun because this was a really big order. I thought I might as well get, get it in just in case I need to buy other stuff. So, you know, the art of doing it is quite fun, especially when there's new things releasing and I'm thinking I never would have bought that before but because I'm having to restock everything I will buy it this time. But yeah, that is one pretty big haul from Sweet Squared. Um, there were actually two orders because I ordered it and then the Jimmy Gel released and I had to order it but it all came together so it was quite good. But yeah, can't wait to use a lot of that stuff and even just like having like new brushes and like newbie boxes to store things and I think it's going to be really handy. That is pretty much it. So obviously if you enjoyed this video I would love if you would get a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Keep your eyes peeled for more salon style stuff. I'm going to actually film another haul just now and I have a review to do on a lamp. So yeah, obviously give this video a thumbs up. Th thumbs up? A thumbs up. Obviously give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!